How's our practice today down at the dome? Good, it was good. It was a, it was a little change in, uh, in our schedule, but we had a really good time there, and it's always fun playing at the dome. How would you, uh, I guess, grade week one from a team standpoint? Uh, from a team standpoint, it, it was okay. We didn't play our best, but I, there's always some room for improvement, so we'll, we'll see what we can do for this week. How do you evaluate Texas State? What stands out about them? They're really good. They have a really good defense. Um, I, I'm hearing that their offense is really good also, so it's going to be a tough game. You've been part of this rivalry for a little bit now. What stands out about just some of the fanfare around it and the emotions of this matchup? Um, the, the the fans do what they do what they do about the rivalry. It's it's the next game for us, so so we're just worried about Texas State and what the defense is going to do. Did they recruit you? Um, a little bit. I don't think they ever offered me. No. Have you obviously being from San Antonio? Have you noticed over the years, even before getting to college, that now more people, does it feel like more people talk about UTSA and Texas State than they did back at a certain time ago? For sure. But back then, even even myself, I didn't really know about UTSA until I got offered from them, or right, right before they offered me, I didn't really know. But now that I'm here and what we've done here, it's been, it's been a really good uh, thing for us. You guys are both in the mix as potentially in the conversation to be the top G5 team this year. Do you feel like there's kind of higher stakes and more anticipation on this matchup compared to previous years? No higher stakes. It's just it's, it's the next game, so we're not worried about um, um, G5 and all, and all those playoffs right now. We're just worried about Texas State for this week. People say teams tend to make the biggest jump from year, from week one to week two. How do you see that process and what goes into maximizing that? If that's true, I hope it's us, you know, because um, uh, our first week was, was okay and, and we're trying to make some improvements here and there with, with uh, positions and stuff, so we'll see how it goes for this week. Playing Texas State, I mean, do you do you feel that the locker room, the guys need motivating, or is it something where looking at the schedule and looking who you guys are playing Saturday, like people are already people don't need any extra motivation? Yeah, like I said, it's the next game, so we're just worried about them for now. Um, it's over, they're always hyped just because you know they're playing football in college, so it's it's a fun thing to do right now. Oscar, what did you see from Owen in his first game as the starter here for the season? He did really good. Uh, he very mature, very very um, agile, and, and he looked really good. Uh, I can't wait to see him this week. Is anything different now that he's for sure the starter? There's no more competition. Does that change kind of his leadership role and how he operates the room? No, he's still the same. He's still mature, uh, young guy, and and he and he's just working up to be the best he can be. As a tight end, is what, what's, I guess what's the difference between playing with Frank as a quarterback and playing with Owen as a quarterback? Is it uh, what's the biggest difference? I guess. The biggest difference, uh, Owen throws it harder, really. I mean, um, that's really it. They're both really smart. Uh, they both can run. Um, they're both very uh, uh, they're big leaders, so I'm, I'm glad to see that he's in that position. When do you think Owen is at his best as a quarterback? Uh, when he's calm and relaxed. You know, he, he can't get up too tight because, um, you know, that can get up to us sometimes, and, and whenever he's that way, he can play ball. How did you see him handle kind of the vocal and mental part of the game from the leadership spot at quarterback, you know, changing plays at the line and making adjustments and things like that? He did really good, as, as our staff did too. Um, um, we, we did a really good job of that, and we'll see how it goes for a away game this week. How, how did you think he handled some of the pressure from, like, the pass protection? It looked like some of that might have broken down in the second half for him. Um, yeah, he, I mean, he, he did get hit, and obviously we won him too, but um, uh, he's, he's a tough guy, and, and we know that we'll make some adjustments this week. How much progress do you expect to see from that offensive line? I know there's a lot of you guys kind of getting to gel together. How do you see that progressing? Uh, they're bonding even more. They're, they're trying to figure things out, and, and we'll see how it goes this week. Um, CJ and, and, and the leaders on that staff, or the, that position is going to be a, a big help this week. I know Coach Trailer told us he wanted to see a little bit more downfield passing. Was there something that you can identify that might have been missing that would allow that to click at a higher level? No, not really. We just need to execute better. We got a lot of tight ends in the game. Uh, this week, what did you see from the rest of the group? Yeah, it was good. It was good seeing that four tight ends in the game, getting some balls here and there, and it was probably one of our best tight end games that we've had here at, at UTSA. Um, uh, that was really exciting to see, and I hopefully we can do the same thing this week. We're getting more of a look at some of the younger guys. Like, what stands out about Houston Thomas to you? He's growing. I mean, he's just being more mature. I mean, he's uh he's always known the playbook. He's really smart. So is Patrick Overmeyer and Dan's always known the playbook too. So it's it's exciting to see that there's more tight ends here that can play. Thanks, Oscar. Thank you.